And here comes the moon. We have entered the moon's sphere of influence. And once we get to the periapsis, we will stop time warping and we will slow ourselves down into a lower orbit. So it looks like we have used up half our fuel, but getting off the moon is a lot easier than getting to the moon, so hopefully we will have enough to do everything, so we'll drop ourselves down into a much lower orbit of 50, I think. Actually, we'll, we'll go down to 20, because 20 is still safe. There we go. And then we will swing round to the dark side of the moon. Which isn't a really very good name, because in fact the dark side of the moon is light 50% of the time. Just like the rest of the moon. In fact, you could say that it is light more on the dark side of the moon than it is on what we call the light side, because so, um, it, as well as the sun going round it, it's occasionally blocked by Earth. So really what we mean when we say the dark side of the moon is the bit of the, the side of the moon that we can't see. According to Apollo astronauts and various probes that have been to the other side of the moon, it looks just like this side basically, so we're not missing out on very much. Okay, so we're into a fairly normal orbit, it kind of drops down there, but what we want to do is burn a little bit more and bring our orbit down. Well, what I want to do is I want to land in a crater, but I don't want to land in one on the dark side because then we can't see all the awesomeness. So I will drop into a not quite low enough orbit for landing before the crater, and then once we get here we'll slow down a lot and then hopefully land in the middle of this. Cause the thing about the moon is it has biomes like the um, like Kerbin does. So if you go to different parts of the moon, such as the different craters, or, or indeed go to the poles or like areas of different altitude, you will get different science. That, so that means we can um, send tons of landers here and get loads and loads of science for it. So we will time warp around. And we'll, we'll get some nice cinematics as we go. We can watch the sun rise. I was almost on command. And Kerbin rise. That looks quite dangerous. We are getting, I think, lower than the highest mountains of the moon now. So there's a crater. We probably could have landed in there. That would have made sense. We are, like, we're passing right over the, the board. In fact, yeah, yeah, we're passing over the board. Not quite actually over it. So if we go a little bit further, let's go down to normal speed. Oh, actually, we've actually got a bit more until we get to the crater, so we'll speed up again. Well, here's a fun little game. If we go inside, we can look at the radar altimeter and see whether it twitches. Because if it does, it means we're getting very close to the ground. I'll wait till we get a bit closer, though. Right, we're almost at the periapsis. Let's go back down to normal speed again. Still not twitched. Usually I'm coming in lower and ready to to slow down very rapidly. We'll just warp up to the periapsis. We don't necessarily have to burn right here. I just feel like burning here because it is some sort of marker. Ooh. Right. And go. And we're now on a trajectory to hit the ground. Actually... Looks like we're on a trajectory to hit it quite fast, so I will just pause for a minute and let us go over the crater. Okay, so we're going to land just on the other side of this quite cool little crater we've got here with a big mountain in the middle of it. So we'll land, we'll hit the ground somewhere over here, so what we want to do is slow down before that happens. So we will start burning. And we will preemptively deploy the landing gear. And this is the first time that I've checked that the landing gear does go further down than the engines. 
It would be quite embarrassing if they did that in Apollo. They deploy the landing legs and then realise that they're actually not long enough. The Apollo landing legs actually had big spikes on the end of them. So then, when they were landing on the moon, which they were, when they did, they were moving sideways at something of a rate. The long spike sticking out the bottom snapped off and they were able to use that as an indicator that they were about to land. What did they call it? They called it soft something, could have been landing. Soft contact? Light contact, that was it. So Buzz Aldrin or Neil Armstrong, one of the two, would call out um, contact light. That was the phrase, contact light, um, when they were just about to land and then I assume contact hard when they did. Well, what they said was the eagle has landed, but maybe they said that too. I don't know. So we've got rid of all our horizontal movements, so we're now just dropping down. I'll cut the engines and wait a bit because... I've just noticed how much fuel we have in those. Wow. I'm going to activate this engine because that seems like a brilliant idea because I think we will run out of fuel before... It's a good job I noticed that because we would it would have just cut out. It's like if we do this now... Just slowing down... Yep, there, the, there we go. Those outer two engines are gone. And they would have just cut out and I would have gone, well, bugger. <laughs> and tried to save us before we crashed and probably failed. Okay, here we go. Slow down a little bit more. Okay, slow down a little bit more. We're coming in just a bit fast. There's our shadow. It looks like we're landing on a bit of a slope, unfortunately. Oh, we, we stopped dropping there. Trying to keep us pointed... Oh, that is quite steep. This could be a problem. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Bill, no. Ah, ah, no. No, no, turn, turn over, turn over. Yes, yes. Oh, God, oh, God. No, I pressed the wrong button. I'm trying to slow them down. Slow it down, slow it down. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. This is still recoverable. Steady, steady, steady. Okay, it's not recoverable. We buggered it up. That's, that's a screw up. Okay. Well, th that, that is some sort of landing, he says, as one of the engines rolls away down the hill. Oh dear. And the landing here as well, as you can see, they're quite durable. So... This didn't go to plan. But looking at this, looking at what we do have remaining, I do have quite the insane solution. Which you you may be you you may be able to tell what it is. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, let's do some science. <laughs> we'll, we'll open up the materials bay. We are in the moon's east crater. Look at that! A hundred science. If we actually manage to get this home, it would be awesome. That's forty science for some goo. Oh, I should have done that goo when we were in the air. Hmm. I will. I'll just do it now. I'm not going to mess about later. I'm assuming I'm getting out of this. Okay. Crew report. Excellent. And then, actually, before we get out, let's see if we can write this thing. Oh. Come on. Oh God. Oh, steady, steady. That's not what I wanted. That's the opposite of what I wanted. That's movement and turning. It, oh dear. Come on, come on. Right, we'll bring the gear in. And we will do this. The reaction wheels in this si in, inside this are amazing. The amount of torque that they can give you to just turn your craft over. Okay, let's deploy the, the gear again because we are sliding down just a little bit, so want to do that and then we want to tip onto the landing gear easy and there we have it if you ignore the all the the stuff missing here then it, it just looks like we've landed now oh wow we even lost an antenna that was that was a, a very close shave okay right bill you can get out 
Right now, Jeb, back in orbit round Kerbin, is laughing his head off. So we'll just wander over here. Bill seems quite unfazed by his predicament. Okay, we'll do an EVA report. You start to say something dramatic and, and I can't pronounce that word. I simply do not know how it's pronounced. Point, point, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try, it'll just be embarrassing. Um, something about the plight of Cobal Kind, blah, 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 Grand Universe, and cut off by random radio chatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surface sample. A combination of breccia and um, that's probably and melted materials. Now, I believe the the surface samples are unique for each crater. So you basically they they say something about what's happened to the crater. How, however, I don't know anything about moon geology, so I don't know what what that would mean. They're all all the craters are impact, so it's just the nature of the thing that that hit the moon and how it hit it. That gives us tons of science. We definitely want to take that home. And then we will plant a flag. And for future reference, we will just call it East Crater. And this is the... Oh, capital T's. Landing. Let's, let's put that in... Uh, Inverted commas. I think it needs it. Sit. What? I cannot type while doing YouTube, apparently. <laughs> Have I... What the hell is wrong with... Uh, come on. There we go. If I don't talk, I can actually type. Right. So that's all dealt with. Now we have the difficult part. I have no idea if this is even possible what I'm going to try. Right, first of all, we will don our jetpack. Oop, easy. And we will hop inside. Oop, oh, I bu buggered that up. Come on. No, no, get, get. Come on. Things we haven't invented ladders yet. Somehow, I'm not really sure how. I mean, this is—we're doing rocket science here, but no one has invented the ladder. Right, we're inside, so we will try our crazy escape. But first, no, not that. Damn it! I've, that's the second time I've done that. We will transmit the data that doesn't lose value when transmitted. So we can transmit that one, but we will keep that one. Right. I wonder what that is down there. <laughs> Either an engine or a landing leg. So here is the plan. While we may have suffered quite a devastating crash, we do have our fuel. And while we have lost our engine, there is still one here. So my plan is this. We put the fuel, in I'll, I'll, I'll start doing it now, we will put the fuel from that fuel tank into this one. And then we will fly away in this ridiculously lopsided ship. And hopefully we'll be able to keep pointing in the right direction, but considering how ridiculously off-center our thrust is, uh, it, it's, it's going to be a problem. But we've got to try, we've got to try, damn it. So, let's see, we want to be going that way, I believe, on the nav ball. And we're not in any way orientated there, I don't think. This is crazy. I don't think this is going to work. I think I'm just going to accidentally murder Bill by sending him on this ridiculous mission. I don't know if we even have enough fuel. But we must try. Okay, let's see if we can just tilt it this way and then tilt it this nope hang on we'll right we'll get we'll retract the landing gear and then we will gently tip ourselves onto this engine and then hold ourselves in position through the power of reaction wheels i said hold hold the position D oh god this is wobbly we're not even we're just balancing at this point we're not even trying to fly anywhere 
Right, we're, we're using up power doing this, so I think it's now or never. Let's just gently... Oh god, oh god, no, 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 okay, the plan doesn't work, the plan doesn't work! Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't die, Bill, don't die! Ah, uh, okay, okay, so the moment you try and do anything, the craft completely flips over, so... This plan was terrible. Which I probably should have realised the moment I came up with it. I don't know how I ever believed that I could possibly fly a ship with the engine over there. So... It looks like our good friend Bill is oop, a little bit drunk maybe. I don't blame him. Looks like our friend Bill is trapped on the surface of the moon. Which is quite embarrassing because the amount of experience I've had, this should have been flawless. This should have been amazing to watch. This should have been like a tutorial on how to do this. But I messed up. So, I suppose we will have to rescue him. But that will be a mission for another day. And so I shall say to you, until that day, Bill will have to, to wait. And I shall say goodbye. And see you next time.